Lieutenant Commander Dick Shepard, veteran F-8 Crusader pilot, escorts an A-4 Skyhawk bomber flown by Lieutenant Chuck Nelson. Shepard and Nelson streak into enemy airspace over Tai Bin. The North Vietnamese don't wait long to scramble fighters. We heard on the channel four red bandits airborne from Bullseye, which meant there were four MiGs in the air uh, coming toward us. Shafford thinks the MiGs are headed for the main strike group, 15 miles away. But in fact, they're heading for him. The calls kept coming, four red bandits at the 20 miles, 10 miles. When it got down to three miles, then I was, you know, shaking like a, like a bridegroom. Shepard braces for the fight. He rolls inverted above the A-4. It allows him to keep his airspeed up without overtaking the slower bomber. But while inverted, something catches Shepard's eye. And I saw something glisten over there, and I looked back at Chuck, and then I looked again, and two MiGs flew right between us. The MiGs streak through and bank slowly left to come around on the A-4's tail. They could be baiting Shepard for an ambush. He knows there are two other MiGs somewhere in the area. But he has no choice. He must engage the immediate threat. He kicks in his afterburner, noses down, and dives after the MiGs. This was a setup for the beginning of so many air combat maneuvering flights that I did. Here the fight starts. Ahead of him, the MiG leader pulls into a tight left turn. The move protects him, but his less experienced wingman can't keep up and drifts into Shepard's firing envelope. And I got my nose on up, and it was a clear northern sky with the sun uh, off to the west and that uh, brand new AIM 9D Sidewinder with a super coolant was just growling beautifully. And I fired out uh, about a mile and a quarter. It just looked like a thing from a movie. It flew just under his right wing tip. And that's where it passed under without fusing. Flew off into the wilderness. And I could not believe what had happened at that point in time. It's uh, uh, like having a whole flock of ducks come over and you shoot and nothing falls. The MiGs died. Shepard sets up another shot. But suddenly, from 9 o'clock high, another MiG element is diving on him. It's the ambush Shepard was afraid of. Two more 17s really had me in their gun sights and were coming down in a perfect run on me like this. Holy macro. And, and then it brought me back to focus. There's no more uh, getting an easy kill, all that stuff. You're going to have to fight with these guys. It's the setup to one of the longest dogfights ever recorded. While the average Vietnam dogfight lasted 45 seconds, Shepard relentlessly pursues four enemy MiGs for a gut-wrenching 10 minutes. December 14, 1967. Four MiG-17s have ambushed an F-8 Crusader piloted by Richard Shepard. The 10-minute dogfight that is about to unfold will push Shepard to the limits of human endurance. As two of the MiGs dive in, Shepard rolls into a maximum 8G left turn to defeat the ambush. The MiGs are going too fast to match the turn and overshoot. Four bandits are in the air. The situation is quickly unraveling. The A-4 he was escorting has fled. And now Shepard faces four to one odds. He must play to his aircraft's strength. And I just stood the Crusader on his tail and did what it does best, and that is just climb. Climb like hell. 
then I went over the top at about 25,000 feet and turned upside down to see what was down there. The first pair of MiGs are here in a descending left turn, trying to regain airspeed. The second pair are here, trying to climb to Shafford's altitude. In his first move, he'll dive past the ascending MiGs, then attack the other pair, who are vulnerable targets given their low airspeed. Outnumbered but unafraid, Dick Shafford noses down. The Crusader screams past the ascending MiGs at 450 knots. At 10,000 feet, he begins to pull out. The heavy G of the dive rips away his oxygen mask and microphone. He can no longer radio for help. Just keep pulling, pulling, pulling on your face as you're doing this. And mine now is down over my chin, so I couldn't talk with anybody. I don't think I would have needed the microphone. If I had opened the canopy, they could have heard me. <laughs> Shafford guts it out and pulls up on the first pair of MiGs, 6 o'clock. The MiGs turn hard left, trying to shake the Crusader. Shafford maneuvers for a Sidewinder missile shot. To gain a missile lock, his nose must be no more than 20 degrees off the MiGs' tailpipe. He barrel rolls to the outside and then descends. In doing this, he gets in missile position without losing airspeed. Shepard gets good tone on the sidewinder and fires. But he never gets the chance to see if the missile hits its target. At that very instant, a stream of tracers snap over his canopy. The second pair of MiGs have now reversed their climb. Once again, they're diving on him from 8 o'clock high. The tables have turned. Shafford is here. The second MiG element is here. He'll need to fly like a man possessed to escape another ambush. MiG fights are in nanoseconds, not seconds, but nanoseconds. One second, the guy is a dot in your canopy, and the next, he's past you. Instantly, Shepard improvises a unique maneuver. He pitches the Crusader down, then rudders left, cutting under the MiG's turn. From the MiG's point of view, it's as if Shepard simply disappears as he dives and cuts under them. Shepard endures the grueling maneuver. The attack is derailed, but now he plummets toward the ground. He jams the stick back and lights his afterburner. Raw jet fuel sprays into the F-8's exhaust, doubling his thrust. He soars past the MiGs. The MiGs try to follow. But their weaker engines can't match the Crusader's rate of climb. They stall out below. Shafford levels off at 25,000 feet, hoping for a quick break in the action. He scans the area once again. The stalled MiGs are recovering, still very much in the fight. He looks west, hoping to catch some sign of friendly planes. His hopes are dashed. Yet another pair of MiGs at 3 o'clock high. This time, MiG-21s coming right at him. Well, I was, for a moment in time, kind of halfway frozen and said, what in the world is going on? As Shepard turns into them, they fire their infrared-guided Atoll missiles, a reverse-engineered copy of the American Sidewinder. Four contrails streak towards the lone Crusader. None of the missiles lock on. They fly harmlessly over Shepard's head. And as quickly as the MiG-21s arrive, they depart. 